All right, we have to talk. There it is. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the best and most timeless outfits Monica Geller rocked on Friends. Wow, you look... No time for that. Okay. Number 20, overalls and white tank top. Why, it's dinner for six, five steaks, and an eggplant for Phoebe. Monica's best looks are sometimes the most straightforward, and that is certainly true here. In the episode in which the friends' financial disparities are laid bare, Ross, Monica, and Chandler want to treat Rachel, Phoebe, and Joey to a meal and free Hootie and the Blowfish concert tickets. By the way, this didn't seem so dorky out in the hall. Come on. <laughs> Why, it's six tickets to Hootie and the Blowfish. Tensions erupt, but all we can see is Monica's outfit. She sports a basic tank top under baggy jean overalls, complete with a black sweater tied around her waist. Considering overalls are having a real moment, and we can't get enough of comfortable, functional outfits these days, we wouldn't hesitate to wear this one. Number 19. Oversized Knit Sweater Season 1 of Friends has some truly fantastic outfits, and this one is no exception. It's poker night, with Phoebe, Rachel, and Monica determined to take the guys down. And they've picked some particularly cute outfits for the game. Serious poker. <laughs> Excuse me, where are you going? Uh, to the bathroom. Monica specifically wears her signature straight leg jeans paired with a ribbed sweater with fun multicolored patterns trickled across it horizontally. Chunky knits like this are a fall and winter staple in modern wardrobes. And as Monica proves, it doesn't just work for poker. It's cozy enough for Pictionary, too. This oft-forgotten ensemble is one that could easily be seen on someone walking down the street right now. The unbearable likeness of being! Yes! Oh! <laughs> Number 18, Floral V-neck Dress In this episode, Monica's going through one of the most difficult times in her life, having just broken up with Richard. So she resorts to making jam to fill her time, before deciding she wants a baby. We know she's going through a lot, but we also can't take our eyes off this outfit. Well, what happened to your jam plan? Uh, I figured out I'd need to charge 17 bucks a jar just to break even. So I've got a new plan now. Babies. While at Central Perk, she rocks a floral dress with a collared v-neck, and it is the definition of a versatile look. Monica is wearing it in a casual setting, but with the right accessories and styling, it could be made office or going out ready. It took me 28 years to find one man that I want to spend my life with. If I have to wait another 28 years, then I'll be 56 before I can have a baby, and that's just stupid. Considering the amount of ways it can be worn, we'd love to have this dress in our closets. Number 17. Catwoman Costume This may not be an everyday outfit, but we need things to wear during spooky season, too. It's not always easy to pull off a superhero look, but Monica looks perfect in this Catwoman costume. It's like it was designed for her. Ah, Catwoman. So we meet again. <laughs> so we do, Supergirl. It's me, Phoebe. The skin-tight, shiny material is as fun to look at as it is flattering, while the tail and ears really sell the illusion. We'd definitely wear this to our next Halloween party, hoping to look even half as good as Monica does. She makes us all want to channel our inner Catwoman. I am strong. I'll show you. Chandler, oh, ah. please. Oh, what's the matter? Are you scared? <laughs> Let's go, big money. <laughs> Number 16, Mom Jeans and Long Sleeve. Denim was having a big moment in the early 90s, but it's almost just as popular these days. On Friends, nobody can rock a pair of timeless denim jeans quite like Monica Geller. In The One Where Heckles Dies, she could be seen in a navy long sleeve top with white buttons, some of which are strategically undone. You've got to get over this, okay? You're not going to end up alone. She's paired the piece with the perfect pair of high-waisted mom jeans. It's not fancy, but it's both aesthetically pleasing and practical. We've said it before, and we'll say it again. Monica can rock the simple looks like no other. Oh, I think it would be nice if we just took a few moments for Mr. Heckles. I mean, he was kind of a pain, he was, but he was a person. That's a skill that has remained in style, making this outfit ideal for current times. Number 15, yellow jacket and suspenders. Monica lets us know right away that she is a fashion force to be reckoned with. Sure, you might think of Rachel in a wedding dress when you think of outfits from the Friends pilot, but allow us to remind you that Monica shows off a great set of clothes that wouldn't feel out of place nowadays. Can I get you some coffee? Decaf. <laughs> okay, everybody? Her white t-shirt, brown suspenders, and dress pants are complemented with white sneakers and a yellow jacket for a splash of color. We 
love the mixture of classy and casual components running throughout the look, which feels accessible without being boring. Well, maybe I'll just stay here with Monica. <laughs> well, I guess we've established she's staying here with Monica. Our wardrobes are hungry for more of this vibe. Number 14, red dress. Even though it takes everyone a while to get ready in this episode, the piece that Monica dons is worth the wait. We hear a lot about Rachel and Phoebe's picks, and rightfully so. Oh, you look great. Thank you. I know, though. <laughs> you see this? This is a person who is ready to go. But Monica's outfit is so classic, we think it deserves more love. She wears a red floor-length dress with a long peephole on the chest and a high neckline. She completes the look by pulling her hair back into a loose updo, which allows us to really focus on the garment itself. The result is flawless enough that we can almost forget the whole Richard voicemail debacle. Maybe you could call the phone company. Maybe they could change the message. Maybe they could change his number. Yeah, I think after this, he'll be doing that himself. Number 13, red turtleneck. Remember when we talked about Monica's ability to rock a sweater? Combine that with the fact that red is definitely her color, and it's easy to see why this turtleneck is such a hit. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you the guy who plays the butt in the new Al Pacino movie? While casually hanging out with her friends in her apartment, she sports this fabulously bright yet understated sweater with her signature jeans. Everything about this look is making a big comeback. Yes, it was a signature Monica outfit in the 90s, but the beauty of it is that we can easily see it fitting right in during a chill night with pals right here in the 21st century. Doesn't matter. I'll get them tomorrow. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever. Number 12, floral circle skirt. Okay, we've got the coleslaw, we got the bun. We've got the ground up flesh of formerly cute cows and turkeys. Monica really knows how to rock the floral, and this is one of our favorite examples of her doing so. It's also an ensemble we would not be surprised to see on a trendy girl at a coffee shop or the mall nearly three decades after Monica wore it to Rachel's birthday party. Her cropped sweater is paired with a floral skirt, both of which are very on trend today and flatter her beautifully in this episode. The cherry on top is the mixture of mellow pastels, which balance each other out flawlessly. Oh my god, I do! Oh, we'd be like friends in law! <laughs> you know what the best part is? The best part is that you already know everything about him. I mean, it's like starting on the 15th date. We think Rachel's real birthday gift is getting to see Monica serve in this outfit. Do you think we'd be able to borrow it? Number 11, Silver Dress. In the one with the monkey, the gang decides to have a date free New Year's Eve together. But nearly all of them end up bringing a plus one to the event, to varying degrees of success. Monica invites not-so-fun Bobby, who is far too bummed out to enjoy how gorgeous his date looks on the last night of 1994. Hey, Bobby! Hey, sorry I'm late, but my, uh, my grandfather died about two hours ago. Her look is classic, modern, and futuristic all at once, with its high neck, form-fitting fabric and stunning silver color. A drop necklace, earrings, and silver shoes tie the whole thing together to exquisite effect. Needless to say, we would wear this outfit to ring in any new year. Oh, I don't feel like kissing anyone tonight. Oh, I can't kiss anyone. So, so I'm kissing everyone? No, no, no. You can't kiss Ross. That's your brother. Oh, yeah, that's Number 10, pink bodycon dress. Hey, guys. You look beautiful. Mm, thank you. Everyone, except Monica, of course, knows that Chandler is going to pop the question, but she still totally nails it with the outfit for the occasion. She wears a sexy pink dress for their dinner date, which has a gorgeous design that shows off all her curves. What's going on? <laughs> We're just really ex excited about this charity event that we have to go to. <laughs> we don't often get to see the friends all dressed up since they're typically just hanging around the apartment. But when Monica gets all dolled up, it's a huge transformation. Are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm good. Are you good? Are you good? Is everything, are you, per are you per perfect? This dress is simple and timeless, meaning it would absolutely work even decades after the episode aired. It's good to see you. You too. You let uh, your hair grow long. Yeah, oh, well, that's right. You, you always wanted me to. <laughs> Number nine, cozy red sweater. Michael Flatley, Lord of the Dance! <laughs> That is correct. In one of the most iconic and memorable episodes of Friends, the one with the embryos, aka the one with the game, Monica wears a cute and casual ensemble that wouldn't look out of place in the modern day. I knew that! Rachel, use your head! While she's competing for her apartment, she has on a comfy-looking red cable-knit sweater and navy pants. Two hundred dollars! <laughs> You're doing it again? Excuse me. 
To top it all off, she has her short hair pulled back with a simple barrette. And if you've been on Instagram in the past few years, you'll know that this is one of the most on-trend accessories of the decade. No! Number 8. Her Wedding Dress Oh my god, Monica. I know. <laughs> Monica may not have been able to wear her first choice wedding dress after another wily bride essentially stole it from her, but we have to say her plan B is not bad at all. In fact, the gown that she actually wears to say her I do's is absolutely stunning and suits her personality perfectly. You look beautiful. Is this new? Not now. Okay. Wedding dress trends have changed a lot in the decade since Chandler and Monica tied the knot, but this simple satin dress with a classic silhouette would look incredible on brides today as well. Once again, I pronounce you husband and wife. Now kiss her again. <laughs> Number 7. Jean Jacket Over Black Dress If that falls off the truck, it wouldn't be the worst thing. <laughs> when we first watched the final episode of Friends, we were too busy wiping away our tears to notice what anyone was wearing. But in retrospect, Monica looks pretty amazing for a woman who just left the hospital after finding out she's going to be the mother of twins. Look around, you guys. This was your first home. And it was a happy place filled with love and laughter. She wears a black midi-length dress, which is all the rage right now, with a pair of tall leather boots and a denim jacket. Wait a minute, what about that summer during college that you live with grandma and you tried to make it as a dancer? It's a versatile look that could be casual or dressier, and it's exactly the type of outfit we could see someone wearing now. Number 6. Black T-shirt dress Hello? This episode focuses mainly on the drama unfolding between Ross and Rachel, but we couldn't help but notice that Monica's looking pretty great while Rachel is moping around the apartment. She wears a tight black t-shirt dress with a scoop neckline over a pair of semi-opaque black tights. It's a simple look, sure, but it's one that doesn't look even a little bit dated. Music! In fact, it'd be easy to throw on this exact outfit and head out for drinks with friends. Even before the 90s came back in style, this would have been a great look. Number 5. Denim on Denim You're not gonna die an old maid. Maybe an old spinster cook. We talked about how denim is officially back in a big way, and even denim on denim looks, frequently referred to as the Canadian tuxedo, are actually chic again. Hey, now besides, worst comes to worst, I'll be your boyfriend. <laughs> Yeah, right. It's not exactly an easy look to pull off because you have to decide if you're going to coordinate two shades or go all one color. But Monica completely nails it in this episode where she pairs a slightly lighter button-up top with more mid-tone blue jeans. So what's Phoebe like? I'm kind, caring, and sweet. What's Monica like? Her white, slightly beat-up sneakers finish off the outfit perfectly, making it an entire ensemble that we would love to steal. Seriously, where did you get the hat? Number 4 floral button-down dress. Hey, doesn't Ross's flight get in in a couple of hours at gate 27B? It's kind of crazy how much these vintage 90s outfits look like something you could buy today at your local Urban Outfitters. Monica's style is typically pretty streamlined and doesn't usually veer into the hyper-feminine. But in one episode, she wears this adorable and girly floral print button-down dress with a collared neckline. Behind my brother's back? <laughs> exactly the kind of crazy thing you won't be hearing from me. She pairs the piece with white sneakers to tone it down a bit, another move that would totally work today. The stellar number proves that she can pull off any look and can make pretty much any pattern feel timeless enough for us to follow her lead. Okay, we've got the coleslaw, we got the bun, we've got the ground-up flesh of formerly cute cows and turkeys. <laughs> number 3. Red Gown Well, I love it. Oh, I only hope my wedding looks this good. She may still be reeling from someone thinking she was Ross's mother at the rehearsal dinner, but Monica still turns out in her bridesmaid dress at Ross and Emily's wedding. The slinky red dress works perfectly with her complexion, and it's a bright hue that we've seen her nail several times throughout the series. In terms of wearability, these sort of dresses are totally back in style, with simple silhouettes dominating on the runway and in stores. Let's just say we've seen some bridesmaids' dresses that are a whole lot worse than this one. I hate you! And I love you! Number 2. Straight Leg Jeans Great! 
It's gym class all over again. Aww. If there's one thing that we would call Monica's most iconic wardrobe staple, it has to be her straight leg jeans. She wears them a ton. In the one after the Super Bowl, she pairs them with an argyle print sweater and black leather boots. I feel that this is totally unjustified. She gave me the green light. I did nothing. <laughs> Do you think I can't see you in the TV set? In the one with the flashback, she manages to make them look pretty darn sexy by wearing them alongside a red button-up tank. Hey. <laughs> and in the one with the fake Monica, she even wears them with heels to a tap dancing class. It seems safe to say that the straight leg is surpassing the skinny jean in terms of popularity. So we can all take some inspiration from Monica here. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Black and White Striped Pants Hey! Where's Joey? In one of the very first episodes of Friends, Monica wears an outfit that is so current it could have easily appeared on a TV show airing today. First, she has a cropped black t-shirt on with white detailing at the sleeves and collar, and she pairs it with an incredible pair of striped pants with a loose fit. It, it's about Alan. There's something that you should know. The black and white contrasting in the shirt is mirrored in the pants, making the outfit coordinate in a way that is just shy of matching. Yeah, well, who wants fair? I mean, I, I just want things back, you know, the way they were. Aren't we lucky that we can look back on our favorite 90s show for on-trend fashion inspiration? Did he mention us? <laughs> he says he's really going to miss you guys. Did your favorite Monica Geller look crack the top 20? Let us know in the comments. The secret ingredient is, you know what? We just met. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.